Hey everybody, it is Charles from Dunce Cap Games and DCG TV here with yet another box opening. It's always fun to get a new game in the mail. Um, and we got this one a couple of days ago. It's uh, Axis and Allies World War I 1914. It's uh, the reissue from Renegade Games. So I know this was uh, out several years ago. Um, and now it's it was out of print for a long time. We saw this one pop up from Renegade Games about, uh, I don't know, four or five months ago and just had to have it. So we picked it up, I think for about 100 bucks, maybe 80, 80 something bucks, uh, but not too bad. We're big Axis and Allies guys here at Dunce Cap Games. Um, we haven't played for a while, but mostly the World War II stuff. So um, we do uh, weekend uh, wars uh, pretty frequently throughout the year. Uh, but when this one came up, we were like, God, we have to have it. We'd never played it. We'd heard about it. It was kind of this uh, white whale out there. And when we saw it uh, being reissued, um, we just, like I said, we had to have it. Don't know if Renegade Games has changed any of the rules. Um, I know some of the mechanics of the game uh, from the earlier versions were not appealing to a lot of folks. Um, as compared to the World War II version. So hopefully they may have made some changes. We're not sure. We're still excited to play it, and it's going to be a great addition to our game collection. So this is the box here. Uh, World War II and Axis and Allies World War I strategy game. Uh, 400 playing pieces, and this is by Larry Harris. And again, Renegade Games uh, reissue. It's uh, for 12 years and up, uh, suggested, and two to eight players with a four to six hour uh, suggested playing time. So um, let's pop the box open. Actually, let's look at the back and check that out. Um, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool map. Um, got a lot of miniatures, all that stuff. Uh, so the contents are two uh, game boards, 406 plastic pieces, 120 national control markers, 190 plastic chips, uh, eight national storage boxes, one general storage box, one battle board, and one rule book, and also 36 dice. So let's get this thing open and see what we have in store for us. Right, so the first thing is we got a, a Renegade catalog. Uh, looks like they've got some Transformers, G.I. Joe, and uh, Power Rangers games coming up. Nah, not really all that interested in those, but um, I know a lot of people that are. Uh, got a rule book here. It looks very much like an Access and Allies rule book has uh, in the past. Ooh, I'm looking forward to some of these miniatures. They're pretty cool looking. Um... It is about 23 pages, 24 if you count the back cover with the uh, with the credits. But like I said, man, it looks a lot like a regular Axis and Allies uh, rule book if you're familiar with those. So I'm um, going to dive into this book in the next couple of days because we are getting ready to play this on Sunday. Uh, there's going to be four or five of us and we are looking forward to it. Um, also inside the box, we've got the battle board. So if you're familiar with Axis and Allies, this is where you uh, can place your units uh, while they're attacking and uh, remove them as they're destroyed, if they're destroyed. Um, and gives you kind of a, a idea of the uh, uh, strength of the unit and the uh, value of their hits. So uh, very necessary piece. Uh, got the battle board. Looks like we've got a whole bunch of the national uh, flag uh, tokens for the map. We've got the U.S., Ottoman Empire, looks like Italy, Germany, Britain, France, uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, very cool. Uh, looks like there's about 20 or so of each uh, to take over the world. And then as mentioned, there are two map boards. Here's the one that looks like goes from India to uh, most of Europe, uh, at least to uh, Holland. So uh, India to Holland uh, and all parts in between. And the second board, which goes from US and Canada all the way up to uh, Germany and uh, Africa. Uh, so pretty cool. Got Italy up there. It's a little bit different shape than the uh, Axis and Ally board, which is, uh, or the uh, World War II board, which is a little bit more 
uh, I don't know, uh, in line with the uh, square nature of the board. So, uh, but it is pretty good detail. Got your uh, unit strengths on there. Um, it looks like they added the uh, national production chart to the uh, desert there, so into the Sahara, which is impassable in this game. Uh, usually in the World War II game, you're marching French uh, from some of these units out here all the way back. And also in the World War II game, you're not able to go uh, from uh, what would be French West Africa in this game to Morocco. You actually have to march them all the way around, so... Uh, interesting that they have that open for us. So we'll see how that plays into it. All right, we also got uh, the eight um, uh, country boxes and the uh, general box. Let's take a look at, how about let's take a look at the Germans. Uh, got the German miniatures in here. Oh, and these look like a little, a little bit more detailed um, than the uh, World War II access and allies uh, miniatures that I'm used to, which are, uh, looks like a little bit smaller and maybe a little less detailed. So we're gonna pour these guys in and take a look at a couple of the units. Um, yeah, there is a uh, infantry and a little plane there. Look at that, infantry and plane. Um, we've got uh, an artillery piece. Um, and there should be some tanks, some early, early tanks in here. Oh, there's one right there. Look at that. A little early World War II German tank, which I'm not sure if those are going to be in play in the beginning of the game or if you have to wait a few turns. Because uh, I don't, if I remember my history correct, I don't think those came in until a little bit later. Um, we've also got uh, a few different ships. I'll have to double check on... Uh, which ship is which. Uh, no aircraft carriers, of course, um, but uh, a few ships uh, to play with. So those are the pieces. Like I said, there's eight different country boards, uh, all different colors, all different uh, probably shapes. And then we've got our general box, which I'm guessing is just, yeah, dice and uh, unit counting chips uh, placed under units to count as more uh, for each unit. And then the 36 dice, uh, looks like they gave us the little mini, uh, six sided instead of a actual, uh, regular size six. I'm not mad at that. Um, I prefer the bigger dice. Uh, they feel a little bit better in the hand, but, um, I've got so many dice around here that I could probably supplement these or do something else with them. But anyway, that is the game. Um, we are looking so forward to this. If we get a chance and I don't make the video before um, Sunday, I will include some gameplay pictures uh, included with the uh, video so you can check it out. Uh, but anyway, again, Access and Allies from Renegade Games, World War I, 1914, uh, the strategy game. So Check it out if you're an Access and Allies fan. If you're not, um, I might suggest playing the World War II version, uh, either the uh, Spring uh, Europe game or the Pacific game. Uh, either one is a start, um, or do the world, uh, the combined game uh, for the entire world. Uh, we really enjoy that. Um, anyway, again, Charles from Dunscap Games and DCG TV. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, share with all your friends. And uh, we'll talk to you next time when we get another game. Thanks so much, and have a great day.